Hello, this is Creating Cards with Sherry. I'm Sherry, and I am so glad that you have decided to join me for my Simple Sunday video today. If you see any, any products that you see today, if you are interested in purchasing them, you can go to my shop at creatingcardswithsherry.stampinup.net. Don't forget to put the host code in, T-N-G-V-U-P-T-S. And follow me on Creating Cards with Sherry blogs blogspot.com and I will have all the details of today's card on there. All right, let's get going. I'm going to move this out of the way. <clears throat> today's card is very simple and um, it looks like you spent hours doing it, <laughs> but in reality, you didn't. Here's what you need. You need um, a little piece that is two inches by one and a quarter. Another piece that is one inch by three inches. And I actually am using the crushed curry cardstock and this is the mossy meadow. You'll need one card at five and a quarter by four for your inside layer. And then this is our card base. It is cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at five and a half inches. All right. So it's going to be what we call a tent card. All right. Then you will want some designer series paper. And this comes from the uh, Rustic Harvest Suite. And I just chose a piece of this. They actually, the designer series paper that comes with the sweets anyway, come in 12 by 12 inches. So these were actually together right here. Okay. And um, I've already used <laughs> one, one part down there. But um, so I just cut it up so that I could make several cards from it if I wanted to. All right. I'm going to start by stamping. We always start by stamping. We do our stamping first. And then we do the assembling and putting it together. I'm using the Hello Stamp from the Rustic Harvest set. Let me get that for you or Hello Harvest, it's called. And uh, I'm using Mary Mer Merlot as my uh, ink that I'm going to be using today. And we're just going to ink that up right away. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to take my inside layer and I'm just going to put that inside my card right away. That's the only stamping we have today. That's how simple this is. <laughs> I'm going to take my stamp and seal. And we're just going to put that right inside there. Okay. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to burnish this really good on both sides so that it will lay flat. All right. What we're going to do with this designer series paper, we're, we're just going to cut around these flowers. And the trick when you do this kind of cutting, the, it's known as fussy cutting. I don't know that I really like calling it fussy cutting. It's just <clears throat> doing really close work. But um, the trick to doing that or to doing this is that you move your paper, not your hand um, or your the hand with the scissors in it. 
you keep cutting and you just move the paper and then that way you can get to where you need to be very easily. All right. And then you can decide how far you want to go into some of those uh, close corners and how much you want to stay out. Well, I trust that you're all doing well and that uh, September is treating you well thus far. It's a really gloomy day today. It's going to be raining all day pretty much, and I guess we're supposed to have more of this tomorrow. So my husband and I are basically on vacation this week, but uh, everything that we plan to do is outdoor stuff, and now we're kind of stuck. <laughs> so... Isn't that the way it goes, though? So anyway, we'll find other things to do. We There's more than enough projects always, you know, around the house and everything else. So we'll still get other stuff done, just not the outdoor stuff that we had planned. At least not until further on into the week when it will get warm again. Okay, we're almost there. Doesn't take long to do. Okay, I'll just get those scraps out of the way. Then I'm going to take my green glue, or what is called our multi-purpose glue. And then we're just going to put some glue all the way around that. Right on the in the center with just a slight border on the bottom. Then we're going to take this little butterfly. Well, actually, let's do this first. This is going to be my bottom strip that will I will adhere to the card. And I'm going to lay that right to the edge over there. And then with my Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm going to adhere my sentiment. And these dimensionals just raise it a little bit so it pops it out of, gives it a, a 3D effect. Put our hello centered on that green strip. There you go. And then I'm going to take some mini dimensionals. And I'm going to put a few of them on this one. On my butterfly. So my butterfly will stand out or pop out and it'll look like it's actually taking flight. Just right there. And there's our card. Very simple. Looks like you worked forever on it because of all the because of the um, picture of the designer series paper. But um, it was very easy to put together. 
And so if you want to see the details of how this was put together, please make sure you go to my blog, Creating Cards with Sherry.blogspot.com. And if you have any questions, please write them below, and I will uh, answer them within the next 24 hours. Thanks so much for joining me today. You have a fantastic Sunday, and we'll see you again on Tickle Tuesday. Bye now.